What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Does your iPhone battery drain fast? Sometimes it may get worse, which may cause your iPhone laggy or just turn off suddenly. You might think it must have something to do with the hardware but actually, it's more often caused by software. So today I will introduce the top 20 common ways to fix your iPhone battery drain. Now let's dive right in. First thing first, do not close all the app frequently. People thought killing all the app's background makes the system faster. But actually killing background takes more CPU of your phone. The battery will just drain faster. So please don't do that, at least not so frequently. Second, turn on the optimized battery charging if you don't. That's a key to protect the battery while charging. If you check out the battery health you can find the option. iPhone will learn from your daily charging routine and it said when charging to 80% the speed will slow down. Really artificially, and worth trying. Also, always keep your system in latest version. This issue always happened when Apple released an iOS update with some bugs leading to the battery drain. So once there is a latest version, please update your iPhone. If your iPhone running an iOS 14 or above system, you may familiar with home screen widgets. But they can also cause battery drain especially some that need refreshing all the time. So I suggest you removing this kind of widgets from your home screen in case battery draining too fast. The number five method is to reduce motion on your iPhone. Yes, fluent motion looks cool, but it takes up more battery also. So just go to accessibility and find motion and turn on reduce motion. Then we go back to home screen. The fluent motion is replaced by faded out. See that difference? If you don't mind it, just turn the button on. This can save your battery too. If you're having the OLED screen iPhone, you can consider switching to dark mode. Because in dark mode, OLED screen won't glow when showing black zone. Won't glow means no battery required. It can avoid battery draining to a great extent. What's more, you can reduce white point and accessibility. Then display and size. And scroll down to find reduce white point. Toggle on the button and adjust the intensity of bright colors. Trust me, you don't need too much brightness on your phone. It may hurts. The number 8 method comes to apps notification. People always allow all the notifications from their apps. But have you think about is that all the apps notifications necessary? If not, list the apps and turn off the notifications button. Too many notifications requires your iPhone keeps fetching new data. It will cause battery drain. The same for mail fetching. Go to accounts and mail settings and tap fetch new data. Turn off the push button. You can decide how frequently the mail app fetch new data in background, like every 15 minutes or just manually. Number 10, set up auto lock time. By default, the auto lock time is 30 seconds, but if you set up to never lock before, don't forget to change it back. Normally two to five minutes would be fine. Next one, go to general, and tap background app refresh. You can turn the background app refresh off to preserve battery life, or just choose Wi-Fi without cellular data. You can also decide which apps is allowed to refresh in background or not. You might even not realize that apps can be automatically downloaded and updated on your iPhone. In App Store settings, you can check it out. I suggest you turning off the cellular data for automatic downloads because it really hurts the battery. Turn off app automatic updates can also help. Things also work on location services. It's in privacy settings. To be noticed that not all the apps need to enable location services. Some apps will be enabled to use unless you allow the tracking. But not all of them. It depends on you. You can turn to never. Below location services. It's system services. There are also some unnecessary system services turning on. All you need to keep is emergency calls, find my iPhone, and share my location. Turning off the rest of them should be fine. In system services, you can even turning off significant locations. It's not a must services but is personalized. It depends on you. But turning off can also avoid battery draining. Below significant locations, you can find product improvements, which I suggest you turning off also. You need to know that once turning on, your phone keeps sending information to Apple service. 
There is also one important option in privacy you can turn off is analytics and improvements. Just toggle off share iPhone and watch analytics button. This can also help. Number 18, turn off sound recognition. It's turned off by default. But if you use this feature before, I suggest you turning it off because your iPhone will continuously listen for certain sounds, which requires battery, of course. The same for always listen to Hey Siri. Especially for the new iPhone Sirius, you might think access to Siri anytime is pretty cool. But think about reality, you may know which option you may choose. Last but not the least, turn off your iPhone regularly. I suggest you turning off your iPhone at least once a week for a better experience and also keep your iPhone healthy. So that's all the methods I suggest in this video. If you tried all of them, or you just get your iPhone updated to the latest version but still can't fix the issue, then you can consider trying 10 or share reiboot to refresh your iPhone system. It won't cause any data loss and it's really safe. You can download it from 10orshare.com and try it right now. Okay, that's all for today's video. If this video helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I'll be very grateful if you subscribe. Stay tuned for out next video.